Can you hear me there? You're on mute. Unmute me. Unmute me. There we go. Can you hear me? Yes. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. How does that look? Is it too bright or can you see the... Um... Yeah, you're a, li a slightly li little bit backlit, but that's okay. It, it actually looks pretty cool and I like it. That's good. People can see, can you see the picture of O Sensei there on the... Yeah, it's far in the back, but I can tell it's O Sensei and it's your favorite picture of O Sensei. <laughs> yes, it is. I mean, him being, you know, really light and bright and shiny, awesome, shiny being there. Yeah, last time um, I, I bowed into him. I think I'll do that again, just a standing bow. Yeah. And you got Delano's thing that she can't come because her daughter's using her device for yeah. dance class. <laughs> Those that I can't see, um, delighted that we're all getting together virtually. And interestingly enough, I think it makes for connections that we might not make if we were in person at the dojo. So I'd like to start with um, a standing bow in. There's a picture of O Sensei here and you're welcome to join me if you like, so we could stand. All right, let's begin with some warm ups and we'll kind of enhance the warm ups a little bit and then I'll read a quote from O Sensei and we'll do a little more practice. So, for those of who are joining who are not used to our warm ups, let's dip down, take a breath from the earth, bring it up, expand out to heaven and open. Long exhale. And again, dipping down, pulling the breath up from the earth extending to heaven, extending out to the walls. And one more as we dip down, reaching up to heaven, and now extending through the walls out into the space. And then let's wake up our core a little bit. So we're just going to pat, starting with our core in the front. You can move around to the back, to the sides. And then you can also work your, down your legs a little bit, adding that a little bit more into your torso. And let's pat our arms, our chest, the neck a little bit in the head, and then let's go back down to our core. Patting that core and behind and then stop for a moment. And just focus on your hotter point in the center of your abdomen. And let's work with a containment breath. We'll inhale, hold the breath, gather, let it build in your abdomen, and slow exhale, releasing the key into the earth. Again, inhale, gather, let it build in your abdomen, sense the strength, and releasing the key toward the earth. And one more. Collecting all the energy in your abdomen, sense the potential power. And a slow exhale, releasing the key. Nice. Take a little wider stance, strap down into your hips and begin to turn from your hotter point. And as you turn, just let your arms extend out. And try to imagine that the key, the energy is like light and it's flowing down through your arms and your fingertips. And where is the light touching the walls in the room that you're in? And what if the light could extend out through the walls? Have a sense as you turn that you're drawing the energy up from the earth. You're pulling the energy down from the heavens. It's focused into your heart point, And then it flows out through your arms and fingertips, radiating positive key out into the world. Keep going a little while longer and just let all of that extend out through your fingertips and invite a little bit more. Don't do anything more, just invite more to come through you. Imagine that your arms are hollow and you're flowing heaven and earth through your body and radiating it out into the world. 
Nice. And let that come to a close and just take a moment and enjoy that feeling of liveness around you and the presence in your hands and fingertips. All right, let's stretch our sides a little bit. So we'll inhale and stretch the one side, exhaling. And then we'll do the other side, reaching, stretching, and releasing. Again, reaching, stretching, and releasing. And one more time on this side. And then let's go all the way around three times. So as you go around, making a big circle with your arms and your body. And then let's change at the bottom and go the other direction three times. All right. And now if you can see me, hands on your knees, and let's stretch our low back. Straighten that elbow, turning behind you to see as far as you can behind you. On the exhale, then inhale as you come to center. Exhale, the other side, turning as far as you can with your eyes. And again, inhale, coming to center. Exhale, stretch the low back all the way around. Inhale to center. Exhale, stretch the other side. Nice. Come back up to standing with the feet, shoulders width apart, and let's work our hips a little bit. Making circles with our hips and just releasing all that energy around the low back, the sides, and let's reverse and go the other way. Feeling all that energy around your low back, the sides, Activating and releasing. Nice. Let's go to our knees and make circles with the knees. I don't know if you can see me. I hope you can. One way for a while. Go round and round. And reverse. Circles with the knees. Good. And then stretching the backs of the knees. And then for those of you for whom this is easy, you can do a squat. And then stand up. And then you can do another squat and stand up. All right, let's put our left foot forward. Have a nice presence in our hominy. And let's stretch our, do our hand wrist stretching. And as you do it, see if you can really let the energy flow through your arm into your torso. And then hold, settling down, lengthening up at the top of your head, strong hips, open our hearts. Nice, other side. And again, as we stretch our wrists, see if you can have a sense that the energy from the stretch is flowing up through your arm, down your shoulder, into your torso. Your whole body is energized by the stretch. And then hold and settle in. Let the energy flow through you. Nice, change and let's do Kodagaish. And as we do that Kodagaish stretch, same thing. Don't leave the energy in your wrist. Let it flow through your arm, shoulder, all the way down through your torso, into your feet. And then hold and just enjoy the energy flowing through you. Relax your wrist under the pressure. Nice, other side. And again, the Kodagai stretch. Trying to sense how the energy from the stretch moves through your arm, your body, your torso, into your feet even. Energizing your whole body and then hold. And as you hold, relax your body under that pressure. Relax your wrist, keep the pressure and relax. Nice, let's go Nikyo. So that Nikyo stretch, one thumb down, the upper hand grabs if you're new and making circles. Little finger moving toward the nose, making those circles. Letting that energy flow through your arm, relaxing your shoulder. Imagine it goes all the way down through your torso, through your legs, into the earth. Using the stretch to energize your body. And then hold, and as you hold, keep the pressure on and soften your wrist and soften your body. Nice, other side. 
one thumb down, one thumb up, grabbing with the up hand, and again, making circles, little fingers moving toward the nose. Imagine that energy is flowing through your arm, through your shoulders, through your torso, down through your legs, energizing your whole body with the stretch, absorbing it, and then hold. And as you hold, see if you can relax your wrist under that much pressure, keeping that pressure on. Beautiful. And now let's stretch the inside of our arms three times. And hold it for a second. Nice. Let's go to the other side. Stretch the other arm, inside of the arm three times. Hold it for a second. And then release. And let's shake our hands out. And then let's shake them up over our heads and shake them till their body really vibrates. Let your whole body vibrate. Your toes, your feet, everything's vibrating. And then let them fall three times. And let's do it again. Put them up over your head and shake them until your whole body vibrates. Your toes vibrate, your feet are vibrating, your body is vibrating. Flowing energy through you, lots of energy. Keep it going for a few more seconds. Beautiful, now let them fall three times. And then let's extend or work our shoulders a little bit. Big arm movements, getting the shoulders and then leaving the shoulders a little bit on themselves and working elbows and reversing that. Okay, now let's make a big triangle. So put your left foot forward, either foot actually, and let your hands come up into a triangle and imagine you're extending through the far wall and imagine behind you is a breeze and it comes through your body, through your arms, through your fingertips. Drop your right arm by your right leg and let's go together and back, together and back, together and back, together and back. And as we continue, concentrate the feeling that there's a wind flowing from your back, through you, through your arms, through your fingertips, out to the far wall. All that positive key, that benevolent power running through you, your hollow. Also concentrate heaven and earth running through you, energy from the sky coming down through your body into the earth, energy from the earth flowing up through your body toward the sky. It could be like a double helix. You're part of heaven and earth. It's flowing through you. And a few more. Let it get a little brighter and shinier. Big triangle. Extending your key out into the world. And hold. Just take a moment and stand in that. And feel the life in your fingertips. Feel the life in your legs. Feel the life up the top of your head. All right. Let's do the two steps. So starting with our left foot, one, two, one, two. Keep turning and as you turn, try to imagine that there's key life force running down through your arms and your fingertips. Imagine that there's life running from the earth up through your body, out the top of your head and from the sky down through your body into the earth. And it's like a spiral or a double helix running through you. And then try to imagine there's a wind at your back and the wind moves you without effort. Just let a little more wind come through you. A little stronger out your fingertips. A couple more. and hold. Just take a moment and just stand in that. And just pay attention to the feeling of energy around you, particularly behind you, above you, to your sides. That's all part of you, connected to the space. And there's benevolent power in the space. Okay, I'm gonna read my O Sensei quote. It's similar to what I read last week, only it's a slightly different um, book. John Stevens, The Secret teachings of Aikido. 
<sighs> your body is a creation of the universe, housing the spirit. Your being is miraculously linked to the essence of the universe. In fact, you are one with the universe, and that should be the guiding principle of your life. The gift of life that has been bestowed on human beings dictates that they should guard and purify the world. They need first to develop perseverance and then polish and clarify their thoughts. This will allow them to single-mindedly concentrate on the essential task of unifying mind and body. Unification of mind and body will lead to the development of fundamental techniques, techniques that are created by NEN or universal energy. They are unlimited in scope. Techniques must reflect universal principles. For this, we need true NEN, universal energy. Link yourself to the cosmos through Ki Musubi the blending of energy. When then universal energy is enacting, interacting in the body and mind, life flourishes. When you enter the realm of this freedom, your body has a sense of divine lightness. So let's work a little bit with divine lightness. Benevolent power. How do we cultivate that? How do we run that? Not just think about it. So let's start by putting our hand on top of our heads, pushing down just a little bit, and then popping the hand up. And feel how the lightness moves through your body. And then as we inhale, let's lengthen up out the top of our heads. And as we exhale, let everything soften around it. Doing that again, inhale, uplifting, lightening, Exhale, softening around it. And now let's work a little bit with that softening around part. So one way to work with that is, and this comes from Kuichitohe Sensei, Key Society. And this is an exercise that we can just do together. And you may have seen it and you can change which hand crosses. You can do five or six with one, the left hand on the inside, and then you can change and put the right hand on the inside. And as you do this, I want you to pay it, keep going, pay attention to the back, the under part of your arm there, the back of your arm. And just think about that. And every time you do that, and then you could change and let the other one, you'll start to notice a little bit more of that relaxation, of that energy flowing down through your shoulders, through your arms, pulling all that energy around your neck, your shoulders, your arms, softening, settling down toward the earth. Let's do it a little bit more. Just very relaxed. I hope you can see that I'm just letting my hands meet and come down. It seems like a simple exercise and it's quite profound actually. We'll do a few more seconds. Long exhales. See if you can soften the energy around your eyes, your jaw. Okay, and then just stop and let your arms hang. And notice, in my case, I can feel it's just a lot more feeling of weight in my hands, natural weight. And there's a lot more energy softening and flowing down. So if we can keep that going, and then at the same time, we have a sense of lightness coming up through the center. So once again, let's put our hand on top of our head, pop our hand up, or you can even imagine a balloon tied to the top of your head, lengthening your whole core up. And then go back to that feeling of the weight in your hands on the outside. So what we really want is a wonderful balance between centrifugal force, the lightness that runs up the very center of our body, and gravitational force that runs all around the outside through our shoulders, arms, and fingers. Nice. Let's go and visit that exercise one more time with our hands. So we'll just swing them and touch a few times, maybe five or six with one hand on the inside. 
And then you might change for five or six and put the other hand on the inside. And just when they just touch, just let them fall back down again. And they're just touching. Yes. And just let them fall. Just, uh, it's all the natural feeling of gravity and momentum. We do a few more seconds. And then let them hang. And then see if you can revisit without touching the top of your head that feeling of lightness inside and the heaviness outside. And now let's do a few more two steps with that feeling. So all together, one, two, one, two. As you turn, see if you can really connect with the divine lightness running up the center of your being. And then connect with the divine earth. Energy, gravity running all around the outside. Fingertips connecting to the earth. So you have the divine lightness and you have a total relaxation on the outside. And then remember the feeling of a wind at your back. Benevolent power running through you. And let a smile come to your face. Try to think of something that makes you smile and a little bit shinier. We're much more healthy when we're running lots of oxygen, blood flow, and when we're relaxed. Beautiful. One more time and turn and then stay. And see if you can just get a feeling of what it's like to stand in that energy. Nice. And I would like to revisit something that we did last Tuesday because um, I got positive comments on it. And it can help us with how we're working with these challenging times in case we get triggered. So first let's um, tighten and close and think of ourselves as an individual separate me. So I think of myself as Wendy, I'm a mother, a grandmother, a teacher, I teach Aikido, I have this identity, I want to feel in control, I want to feel safe, it's inside my bones. Okay, now let's change. So inhale, lighten up off the top of your head. Exhale, soften everything around it and we just did. Now with your arms, extend out and reach out as far as you can imagine reaching through the walls. <clears throat> and remember you are connected to the sky, to the stars above you, to the earth below you. You're connected out into the world. Let yourself be in that place. Connected to the sky, the stars, connected to the earth, radiating out into the world. You're more than an individual self. You are the universe, just as the quote of O Sensei said. You have access to divine lightness. You have access to universal energy. Let yourself stand in that. Let yourself realize you are part of something so much bigger than a personal individual self. Okay, let's go back and do it again. Pull in a little bit because that will happen. From time to time, we'll be concerned. We'll read something, see something. Something might happen and we feel, oh no. And we feel separate and individual. We want control. We want to feel safe. This is Wendy. I have an identity as a mother, as a grandparent, as a teacher. All right, that's enough of that. Now I need to change. I need to remember that I'm connected to the sky, to the stars. Think up, put your hands up, reach up to the sky, the stars. I'm connected to the earth. Let your arms come down. Remember that feeling that you had with your inner hands settling into the earth. And then reach out. I'm connected to the world around me. We are all connected through the space. We are not individual separate people. We're made up of gazillions of atoms and atoms are vibrating energy. Remember we're vibrating energy. Feel yourself as vibrating energy, connected to the stars, connected to the earth, 
connected to the world around you. All right, let's come back and do another key exercise. Remember this one where you clasp your hands here and you shake. And as you do this one, put your mind in the center of your abdomen. Park your mind there. And just let your hands shake that. Remember your vibrating energy. This vibrating energy is in the very center of your abdomen and it is everywhere through your body, around you, above you, below you. Focus on the vibrating energy in your hara. Take long breaths into your hara. and stop. And then let's do our um, rowing exercise. I'm gonna to turn to the side in case some of you are not familiar with it. Hands come to the hips and then you extend out as you row forward and then you pull them back to your hips. So we row and extend out. When you extend out, really let your arms extend through there and then pull all that energy back to your hips. Reach out, take some key, bring it into your hips, reach out, Take some key, bring it into your core. Keep going. Reach out, grab key, pull it into your core. Another few more. Grab some key, pull it into your core. Really reach out, really pull it in. Don't let your arms come behind you. Let them come right to your hips. So you're bringing it right into your hara point. Okay, let's stop. And once again, Let's clasp our hands and let's vibrate our hara. Concentrate in your hara point. Let your hara point expand. So it's all around you, it's vibrating energy. Let it vibrate. Long exhales, breathing into your hara point. Keep your focus in the very center of your abdomen. Concentrate on the vibrating energy of that point and how it expands out around you. And stop. And once again, with the other foot forward, we're gonna do the rowing. Start with your hands on your hips and extend out, reach out, grab some key, pull it back. Reach out, grab some key, pull it back. The rowing exercise, where you're taking key, bringing it to your hara, sending it out, bringing it to your hara, sending it out. Really let your energy flow out. Really take a hold of that, bring it back. You are connected to the world. You reach out to it, you bring it into you. Keep going a few more. Really think of your key as way out there, pulling it in. Bringing it back to your hara point. And hold. And again, let's vibrate our hara point. Long exhales, breathing in. Focus into the center of your abdomen, vibrating that. We are vibrating energy. Let's focus in an area of that. Imagine the heart points vibrating out all around us, cleaning the key, purifying. And stop. And just let your hands open. Let yourself stand for a moment and remember you are connected to the stars. You're connected to the earth. There's benevolent power all around you. You can reach out into it. Imagine there's a wind behind you and the wind will support you.
stay with it just a little bit longer. Okay, let's work a little bit um, for a few minutes with a, an imaginary ikkyo. So I would like you to do is imagine it's a cross hand grab and your partner has your hand. And I want you to, in my case, my right arm is out. My right arm is going to be grabbed. I'm gonna slide my right foot forward and I'm gonna make that nice ikkyo movement. I'm gonna stay up straight. And then I'm gonna come back. Then I'm gonna put my left hand forward. My left hand is out. Imagining my partner is grabbing my left hand, keeping my right hand ready to touch their imaginary elbow and make that nice movement. Nice, change feet again. Right hand out. Imagine they're grabbing my wrists. Make that beautiful arc with both hands and it comes down, stay up nice and straight. Front knee is bent. Beautiful. Left hand, left foot. Get ready with the right hand to support the arc. The grab comes, we make a beautiful arc. Nice. Let's imagine we're taking the ukemi. So we're holding with our right hand. Our partner comes, makes the arc. Our elbow comes up and we lean over and we just touch the rug, touch the floor. And then we come up. And then we put our left hand, left foot out. We imagine we're holding our partner's wrist, we're grabbing it. Now they pick up their hand, there's a nice flow going through them and they bring us, we lean over and touch the floor. Nice, let's do it again. Right hand out, I'm grabbing my partner's wrist. They raise their arm, both hands, a nice arc. A nice flow, a nice stretch for me, a stretch for my back. And then the left hand out, I'm grabbing their wrist in my imagination. They raise their wrist, my arm goes up, and there's a nice flow, and I lean over and touch the floor. Beautiful. And then I come up. So now let's do that with just a little bit more flow and speed. So I'm going to be nage this time, right hand, right foot forward, one, and I go down, boom. Left hand, two, I make the nice arc. Change feet, right hand, three, I make the nice arc. Left foot, change, four, I make a beautiful arc. Nice. Here we come with the ukemi. I'm grabbing one. I'm going to lean over. Touch the floor. Take a breath. Feel the stretch. I come up. Left hand. Two. I imagine uh, they're bringing me through the arc. I touch the floor. Feel the stretch. I come up. Left hand. Excuse me. Right hand. One. I feel the arc. Leaning over. Touching the floor. Feel the stretch. And the last one is my left hand. As I'm grabbing them, boom, they raise my arm. I come through and touch the floor. Nice. So there's something about the ikkyo movements that I just think are so beautiful. And now that we've done the full ikkyo movement, we can just do a little bit of ikkyo movement just this way. So I'm starting with my right foot forward and I'm just making with both hands that beautiful ikkyo movement, change to the left, both hands, that beautiful ikkyo movement, change to the right, that beautiful movement, change to the left, and a few more times, right. Feel the flow going out, feel like a calligraphy stroke. And see if you can unify your mind and your body, is the O Sensei quote, so your breath moves with the exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Nice. Let's just stand for a moment. Just let your body feel what it's like to do some of those nice Aikido movements. Some of us have missed the Aikido movements. We haven't been able to do them with each other on the mat. 
but it's nice because my body remembers the feeling and I can use my imagination. Very nice. All right, so let's work a little bit more with our sense of um, extension. We don't have, you may not have a bokeh with you. I have a bokeh, but for some of you who don't, I want to work with this idea of um, heaven and earth. So I'll just show you, and then you can use your hand if you like. You don't have to use bokeh. So the way we do it in leadership embodiment, I'll let some of you gonna, do have bokehs and you're going to grab them. Okay, so the way we're going to work with it is we're going to start by stirring the cosmic soup. You know the videos of O Sensei, I don't know what he says, but this is what I say. I invite wisdom traditions from all times, all places, and all eons to come and support our intentions for good in the world. Lightning rod to heaven and bring it into us. Oh. And then let's, if you don't have a bokeh, you can just use your hand, using your hand is, is good too. So you're gonna raise your bokeh, make a cut, stand, send it out. Inhale, raise your bokeh, cut, send it out. Raise your bokeh, cut, send it out. One more time, exhale. So, Rather than just do the cut without bringing our mind into it, because the O Sensei quote talked about unifying body and mind, let's come with an idea. And it can be an idea that you would like more benevolent power. It could be that you want to make a contribution. It could be that you want to be safe, compassionate. You decide, but have something in mind. So now, when we make the cut, okay, we're gonna take a moment, stand, have that in mind, that idea in mind that you would like to bring benevolent power into the world or whatever your intention is. Bring that to mind. Let's unify it with our body. So raise the bouquet, cut. As you send it out, keep the thought that you would like to bring that meaning out into the world, that thought, that idea. Once again, say your idea to yourself very clearly. You could even say it out loud. And then step back, raise your bokeh, make the cut. Exhale. Try to imagine you're sending it out into the world. You're unifying your body with your mind, your intention with your energy. Once again, saying your intention to yourself clearly. Step back, cut that intention into place, put it out into the world. Nice. All right, we're gonna do another four and then we're gonna do, actually we'll do two in a kiai and two more in a kiai at the end of it. So take a moment, uplift yourself, let the, all that energy that's relaxing down towards your feet, focus your energy extending out into the world, say your intention to yourself. What is it that you would like to bring through you into the world? What's your mind wanting to manifest? Now you're gonna use your body, join with it. So step back, make your cut, <sighs> exhale. Again, step back, make your cut, kiai, aye! Nice, imagine that that idea is going out. So it's not just a blank cut, it's a cut with an intention. Let's do it again. Have a little more energy, a little more brightness, a little more power. Say what you would like to manifest to yourself. You could say it out loud or to yourself. And then let's step back and cut, <sighs> exhale, send that intention out into the world, unifying your mind and body. Again, have your intention, say it clearly to yourself. Step back, cut it, send it out into the world. Aye! Nice. Let's do one more round. So having a clear intention, we're unifying mind and body. What is it that you want to accomplish? What is it that you can do? And then let's cut it into place, cut it out. Send it out into the world with a cut. One more time back, ki-ai, ai! Let yourself stand in that for a moment. Feel that intention. Nice. 
And then you can take a moment and do a bow to yourself. If, if you don't have the bokeh, you can do a standing bow to the practice. If you're using that like a weapon. Ooh, I got the dog going. <laughs> oh, great. Greg's got the real shiny guy. The real thing. Awesome. All right. So let's work a little bit now with um, just sending energy out again, just that sense of radiating energy. We can't sort of do enough of that sense of expansiveness, of running key. If we're gonna unify our body and our mind, we have to wake our body up. We have to pay attention to the fact that there's all this vibrating energy flowing through us and we wanna cultivate that so we can be more noble, awesome, and shiny. So let's go back to this exercise for a moment. We're gonna inhale, let's take a nice wide stance. Inhale, uplift, lengthen. As you exhale, relax your chest a little bit and let all that feeling soften and settle down that we worked with before. Bend your knees, drop into your hips, and then let's turn from there. And as we do this again, see if you can let everything that we've practiced so far just come through you and affect you. We've practiced lightness, divine lightness, relaxation, energizing, imagining that we're filled with vibrating light. And we want to practice radiating and extending out into the world. And then let it get a little brighter. Don't effort, just invite. Remember, we're nothing but vibrating energy in the end. Benevolent power, key. Let it flow around you. Let it flow through you. Let yourself extend out through the walls of the room you're in. And just a little more. Nice, and let's bring that to a close and take a moment and stand in it. Ah, and just notice if you are aware that there's all this life energy around your body, that's you too. Not just what's in your skin, but everything around you is you. You are the universe, as O Sensei said. So what I'd like to do now is, um, those of you who are used to my class, um, to see if anybody has any questions or comments on what I've done so far. It's not been a normal dojo class, but many of these things are familiar to you. And I'm curious if you have any thoughts or insights um, about what we've been focusing on so far this evening. And Greg can unmute you if you have something you'd like to share. I can unmute everybody if you guys have muted yourselves. So if you want to speak, you'd have to go to the lower left hand corner and unmute yourself. I'll um, go ahead since I don't see anybody yet. Um, it's Kimberly. I think uh, there's a lot of information and so it can be very difficult to recall the broader perspective, the bird's eye perspective and getting in touch with something beyond myself, um, trying to sift through information and particularly in the healthcare, you know, going to the hospital and all that. And so um, it's the practice both of connecting with that um, sense of flow and connectedness uh, to everything and also being very clear about what it is I want to convey. Those two combined are really um, perfect for me right now. So thank you. Well, I'm very glad. And I like in the quote I read about unifying body and mind because sometimes we do Aikido practice and we're just doing 
the Aikido practice, but to bring our intention into it and use something like a bokken or even just the Aikido gesture begins to unify our body and mind. So I encourage us all to do a little bit of this in this time. Yeah. Here's Dave Scott. Hi, Dave. Thank you, Kimberly. Well, um, David Kuyp here. I, I, first of all, thank you. And it just warms my heart to have a class with you from seven hours away. <laughs> uh, um, and uh, I was struck by a couple things. One, how differently I'm paying attention not being in the dojo. Yes. That, that it's a different quality. I feel like I'm more, I'm, even though I'm, I'm in the room with Michelle here, there's a different quality and a more um, uh, internal personal quality for me, not being in the dojo surrounded by other bodies doing the same thing. Not that I don't love that, because I miss training with you all, but, but I, it, it was, it's a very different experience for me doing it here in, in our home. Um, and the other piece uh, was I, I really enjoyed the ikkyo. So thank mm -hmm. you for that. Um, and again, I was able to pay a diff attention differently to how my body moves without another body on the other side. Yes. In particular, the uke, side, uke piece. Yes. Feeling, oh, this is how my body moves when I do ikkyo, and I'm not, not being moved by someone else right now. So I feel like I learned something valuable to bring back to my own teaching from that. Oh, as well as something valuable for me. Well, I'm very glad. I mean, the movements have so much uh, beauty, the lines of them. They're like calligraphy strokes. And if we can really enjoy that, we can bring that back into our partner work. Sometimes we get distracted by our partner and we forget the beauty of the lines, or at least I do. Mm -hmm. Thank you, David. That's very nice. I'd like to say something. Michelle Kipe, how um, fortunate it is for us to be able to be with you today and with the Aikido community. Thank you so much. And thank you, Greg, for backing this process up. Appreciate that so much. I am so delighted with how much can be communicated through Zoom. I feel I have an experience of transmission with you, Sensei, and with, with um, oh, Sensei behind you, um, with your lovely smile and the ways in which your language is so clearly reflecting what you're demonstrating. And so uh, the way in which you are embodying the body and mind unification you know my body is loving it and just like drinking it in and i can feel it going in so deep um this way you know and it's and here we are together wow i am in awe of this um, miracle and um and then for myself since i've started teaching um aikido on zoom with the children and I'm just so excited because so much of what you're teaching is what I'm teaching with them. And it's just like, yay, my lineage. It's so good to get a tune up with the lineage. <laughs> and, and of course, with the kids, there's just so much joy and lightness. Uh, they bring that and then we, we enjoy it together. And so thank you so much for the encouragement that I feel in this um, coming together of, uh, yeah, the lineage. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And thank you for the good work you're doing with the children, you and Delano and the people who are teaching kids. It's such a wonderful thing to be able to plant those seeds. Um, oh. Thank you for that. Yeah. yeah. No, nobody else, okay. So we can close, um, I'm, I'm only gonna go till about seven, an hour is I think plenty uh, for this. Um, so um, we're gonna work a little bit more with this um, feeling. This one can be done a lot, this idea of expanding out. So we're gonna work with that. And then a little bit of how to build the focusing again on the second breathing, the building and containing. So I'd like to, to work with that again because can't kind of do too much of that as far as I can tell. So just that idea of taking a moment and standing, remembering the lightness, the divine lightness coming through me up, and then remember everything softening around it. Extending out a little bit at our fingertips to get ourselves so that we're expansive 
See if you can get beyond the walls in your imagination. Just why not? All right, and then let's dip down. Let's take a breath from the earth and bring it up. And opening. And again, dipping down, taking a breath, bringing it up. And opening, extending. And one more of these big ones. And expanding. And now let's make it a little bit smaller, but still with the same intensity. So we just gather in front of us and extend. We just make these circles. Gather without leaning over and extend. Reach out, bring it into us, and then from there, send it up and out. And a few more. Pull it in to our center, send it up and out. Reach out, draw it in, pick it up. Send it way, way, way out. Two more. Reaching out, drawing in. Divine lightness going up toward the stars, extending out. And one more. Drawing in. Reaching up and extending way out. And then just taking a moment and just a gentle Tapping just with the hara now, not the whole body, just because we want to be clear that's the area that we're focusing on. And rub that hara point a little if you want. Sometimes it's hard to really pay attention to that point inside of our abdomen. And now we're going to work with building energy. How do we build energy with that reservoir? So we're going to inhale. Take it from the earth, sky, pull it down into us. Let it build, let it build, let it build. And then slow release back into the earth. Again, take it from the earth, up from the sky, pull it into us. Sense the strength building in your abdomen. Hold the breath, just be present with that. And then slow exhale. Again, from the earth, reaching up to the sky, pulling it down. Gathering, let it build. Sense the strength as if you're going to pick up something heavy. And then slow exhale. Nice. So now that you have that, hopefully the feeling of strength in your abdomen, if you can feel that, then let's do this one more time. Drop in and from moving from the abdomen, let this flow out around you. Think of it as light and you're radiating light out through the walls into the world. You're running from the earth coming up through you, from the heavens coming down into your body, focusing in your heart point and then radiating out, letting it flow. You're more than just this body. You are the universe. You are vibrating energy. Let it flow out through your fingertips. Let it come up from the earth. Let it come down from the stars. Invite it to come from behind you, from the front, from the sides. And let it flow out. And stop for a moment and just enjoy that feeling. And now let's end with a little kokyo ho. Let's just imagine we do standing, we won't do it sitting. But as you know, some people come to class when they hold our wrists. What we want to do is just let the hands float up. Make that kokyo motion. Lift your partner and then a beautiful, nice curve going down, just a beautiful cut. And then put your hands out in front of you again. Imagine your partner is grabbing it. Make that kokyo movement with your hands. Lift, let everything get light, divine lightness. And then a beautiful cut. Partner might take a fall or it's just a beautiful line. Imagine the partner's holding your wrists. 
Make the kokyo movement with your hands. Let the divine lightness lighten and raise the partner in you, and then a beautiful cut. Let the energy go out through your fingertips in the cut. And let's do a last one. Imagine your partner's holding you. Make that beautiful kokyo movement, then divine lightness raises, 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 and then there's a cut, and let the energy flow out. Nice. Well, I certainly appreciate everybody willing to um, come together for this. And I thank Greg very much um, for that. I'm gonna do a bow out and then we'll do a say goodbye. Uh, he can unmute us all or you can unmute us. So first let's bow out. Oh, before we bow out, let's just take a moment and let's send the energy out to our community, our dojo community, to our friends, to the area that we live in sending radiating positive energy out into the world. All the people you know, people you don't know who could use positive energy right now. They may not know it, but somehow it'll touch them. Appreciation for our friends, our training partners, our teachers and mentors. Appreciation for O Sensei's vision, his inspiration. Nice. Let's do a standing bow. Thank you very much for joining us. So, um, and thank you, Greg, for being our um, support system with this. Hey, Peter, thank you all for joining. <laughs> um, and I hope we'll see you again next Tuesday. Um, I plan to do, do this on a weekly basis until we get back um, to a different way of life. <laughs> mm -hmm. Meanwhile, we're not alone, we're together um, because we are in each other's hearts. And I appreciate you all and you have my hands on your back. And please do know that if you have any questions, you can always uh, send them to me or if you don't have my email, send them to Tam Aikido and Delano will send them on to me. Yeah, thank you so much, Sensei. Uh, <laughs> if anybody wants to stay on the call and like learn about Zoom and how to like turn your video on or how to unmute and those kinds of things, happy to stay on or just reach out to me. Happy to help you with that. I can stay on it after this call. And you can also Google because there's good tutorials online, but Greg and um, some others. So thank you very much for being um, with us, and I hope I will see you again next week. Sensei, yep. um, what is the invitation as far as um, passing the word about this learning opportunity to the community? Anybody. Yay. I mean, you know, anybody can join. I'm, I try to, as you know, in the warm ups, kind of make it from a point of view of people weren't used to them. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to act as if people know nothing about Aikido. I'm going to. Yeah. take the attitude that people know something about it. I'll usually follow this pattern of doing warm-ups, reading a quote, and then some key exercises and different things. That's the pattern. I will probably follow something like that. Um, but other people are welcome. Anyone is welcome. And also I'm doing another leadership embodiment drop-in class. You can check the website for that. That was open to everyone. Okay. We had people from Asia um, on it last Saturday. And um, I have one scheduled for uh, three weeks from now, and I might try to push it up and just do it the Saturday after next because there seems to be um, people who are open to that. So that's a little more Ellie. Okay. It's similar, as you know, yeah. but it's more yeah. leadership embodiment and less, there won't be as many Aikido 